Hi, in this slide, what I would like to do is take the uh, the nine Fs, uh, uh, that all the words that help us design a good experiment, and look at those in kind of a, a, a bit of a more expansive way. I mean, it's one thing for an individual uh, to, you know, push the wheel of learning, come up with an experiment, design it, and and do it in their own if they're an engineer or something. But what if what if you're part of a team and the whole team has to do this process sort of dynamically together? So, hey, let's get together. And while we're, you know, going through our challenge, are we not only touching base with the nine Fs, but but are there more things that help the team process move along dynamically? Um, and to support this this idea, what I want to do is uh, is is just give you a quick overview of uh, 13 maxims that come from a book called Improv Wisdom by Matz and, and this wonderful lady who teaches improvisational theater at Stanford has come up with 13 maxims that have a lot of overlap, of course, with my nine Fs, but they also She's saying in improvisational teamwork, where you're sort of doing skits, their guidelines, don't just think of these as for improvisational theater. Think of it for, you know, other life areas. So how do we do it, for example, in a business environment? How do we actually in our personal everyday life outside of work uh, live and practice and work with improv wisdom uh, to help us to grow in happy, most productive uh, ways? Um, and uh, my last point I want to make about uh, repetitions, uh, variations on a theme with my nine Fs or uh, Madsen's 13 Maxims is it helps sometimes to practice through case examples. And if you made a list of the wheel of learning, the four steps, and then the, the nine Fs, and you can, if you want to, you can supplement it a little bit with the 13 Maxims, which will come next. You can then say, let's use this as a checklist review for some of our past uh, projects that we did and the present ones we're working on to sort of just touch base and say how well did we really think through uh, the wheel of learning? Did we ask the right best questions? Did we come up with the right best theories? And were they focused on, on, on root causes as opposed to symptoms? Did we actually come up with small bets? Did we get everybody engaged and the herd moving generally in this direction? because we adhered to all these things. And, and the answer is, of course, we didn't. You know, we did, We just were shooting from the hip and doing what we did. Uh, Bruce, you're talking about trying to take our, 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 our good mistake making to a whole nother level. But by, uh, you know, coming up with two, three, four stories and just using that checklist, the whole team starts to get fluent with all the variables. And, you know, if we could do this all again, how would we do it different, better, whatever? And this is the way we start to get a, a working knowledge of and a comfort zone with with these new uh, learning how to learn tools. So that's it for good mistakes by a dynamic team. Next, we'll take a look at 13 maxims.